Hey, this is Anthony, December the 11th. Um, we're back out here on the Mustang. This is the third try. Maybe this will do it. Um, we're out here today uh, fixing to put the intake manifold on the car. Most everything underneath is buttoned up. I have to put the manifold on next before I can finish the exhaust because the EGR pipe needs to be in alignment. So, so it... Uh, that has to be done first. So, I tell you one thing. If you don't think this is hard to put in, this dipstick, after the engine's been put in, you need to just try that. What had happened was, I don't do this often, so I don't, I don't know. I know a lot about mechanic, being a technician. I had a German certification through GM Motors. I like two classes being a master, uh, parts and service manager for 13 years at a dealership. I, I know how this works, I know, but I don't work on Fords and I don't work on these cars enough to know a pattern or step procedure. But that dipstick, leaving it out, cost me four and a half hours worth of work yesterday, having to take the manifold off way down there having to take the manifold off and uh, putting the dipstick in and putting the manifold back on that's extremely extremely rough work so what we like underneath is put, putting the H-pipe on and um, tightening down the EGR valve pipe what we're into today is trying to put the intake on the Mustang. Well, let me show you something first though. As you can see these humps on this head are burnt. This is a rich, this is normal. This is burnt off as well as this one. If you remember in the beginning of these series or stories, I bought the car from the bank. It had been repoed. The woman down the street right here at the end of the road here, she bought the car brand new. Um, stayed in storage for six years of its life at the end. Jumping up the road, right there, bought the car. Drove it about a couple, two months. Um, on the way, coming back from a town nearby, uh, it overheated, and instead of him stopping, he kept driving it, and it, he ran it until it just stopped running. So... When we purchased it from the bank, I only thought or figured it needed head gaskets, which is a tough job and not totally massive. So, what wound up happening was he had blowed the head gasket here and here. You see this rust. This rust set here, the water set in these cylinders for about six months before I got the vehicle. So, and these pieces here, when I say blowed out, they were laying down in the cylinders. They were laying down in the cylinders. So when I say blowed out, they blew out. So I don't know how, how a grown man of 40, 45 years old can drive a car till it stops running. I, I, I'm a psych, psychologist and, and in the field of behavior and I, I it, goes beyond my concept of why a, a grown man would do such a thing the car broke down in the end of march which is 60 65 degree weather you know i'm about eight nine miles from home you know there's a point understand that if you can make it home you save a record bill well a record bill from there to here would have been about 75 bucks there's no part on this car that you can replace other than a serpentine belt for less than 75 dollars so it's kind of foolish, kind of dumb. Doesn't show a whole lot of intelligence. So, but that's that's what happened. So, he ran it to stop running. We broke it down, as you have seen in the videos prior. Had to buy new heads, bought comp cams. There's a lot of stuff in this engine I didn't have to buy, but I wanted it. You know, I've thought about keeping it, but more likely, 99% sure it'll sell as soon as it runs but what we're into today is is 
This intake gasket is melted. Every bit of this is melted in here. All of it. And along with the intake, as you can see right there, is completely melted. That is how hot this man got that engine. If the heads wasn't bad enough, when you can get something, get composite, composite material hot enough and plastic material hot enough to melt it on a composite surface attached to aluminum, that's hot. That's extremely hot. So, you know, we're hoping this engine runs, which I had the deck blocked, the heads blocked, or decked. Had the engine decked, heads decked. So, we know it's all flat. It's been bored 20 over, so we know the bore's good. So, unless the machine shop missed some kind of hair crack or something, we should be fine. Or at least okay. So, that's what we're doing today. We have to clean this up, as you can tell. There's, there's spider webs and... I do have brand new oversized uh, injectors for this thing. Um, I will do the whole spiel about how I had to put valve body gaskets on it, injector, injection seals on it. All that stuff will be replaced. I'm just that kind of person. I like to complete a job, and I like to do a job complete. So, you know, that's where we're at today. Um, this is what Friday, so I hope by Tuesday or Wednesday next week it'll be running. So, at least that's what I'm praying for. So, um, I thank you. You've gotten this far. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. Leave a message. But if you leave a message, please, if it's negative, at the end of your negative comment, please leave a positive comment. There's no sense leaving anybody else in a negative sort or in a negative way of thinking just because you wish to be that way it's the only thing i ask uh keep tuned keep in tune i don't know if these will ever hit video or not or youtube but stand by and we'll see thanks for stopping by